morning and thank you for joining me for this time of morning prayer on Wednesday. I'm going to begin by playing a piece sung by the choir of St Mary's. Love divine or love success. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This morning's psalm is Psalm 56. Be gracious to me, O God, for people trample on me. All day long foes oppress me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many fight against me. O Most High, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust. I am not afraid. What can flesh do to me? All day long they seek to injure my cause, and their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife, they lurk, they watch my steps, they hoped to have my life. So repay them for their crime, 
in wrath cast down the peoples, O God. You have kept count of my tossings, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will retreat on the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust, I am not afraid. What can mere mortal do to me? My vows to you I must perform, O God. I will render thank offerings to you. For you have delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling so that I may walk before God in the light of light. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the book of Judges, chapter 6 beginning at the first verse. The Israelites did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord gave them into the hand of Midian for seven years. The hand of Midian prevailed over Israel, and because of Midian, the Israelites provided for themselves hiding places in the mountains, caves, and strongholds. For whenever the Israelites put in seed, the Midianites and the Amalekites and the people of the east would come up against them. They would encamp against them and destroy the produce of the land as far as the neighbourhood of Gaza and leave no sustenance in Israel and no sheep or ox or donkey. For they and their livestock would come up and they would bring thick in their tents as thick as locusts and neither they nor their camels could be counted. So they wasted the land as they came in. Thus Israel was greatly impoverished because of Midian and the Israelites cried out to the Lord for help. When the Israelites cried to the Lord on account of the Midianites, the Lord sent a prophet to the Israelites, and he said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I led you up from Egypt and brought you out of the house of slavery. I delivered you from the hand of the Egyptians and from the hand of all who oppressed you and drove them out before you and gave you their land. And I said to you, I am the Lord your God. You shall not pay reverence to the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live. But you have not given heed to my voice. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the oak of Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abrazite, and his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. The Lord appeared to him and said, The Lord is with you, the mighty warrior. Gideon answered him, But sir, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his wonderful deeds that our ancestors recounted to us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has cast us off and given us into the hand of Midian. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours and deliver Israel from the hand of Midian. I hereby commission you. He responded, but, sir, how can I deliver Israel? My clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my family. The Lord said to him, But I will be with you, and you shall strike down the Midianites, every one of them. Then he said to him, If now I have found favour with you, then show me a sign that it is you who speak with me. Do not depart from here until I come to you and bring out my present, and I set it before you. And he said, I will stay until you return. So Gideon went into his house and prepared a kid and unleavened cakes from an ephah of flour. The meat he put in a basket and the broth he made he put in a pot and brought them to him under the oak and presented him. The angel of the Lord said to him, Take the meat and the unleavened cakes and put them on this rock and pour out the broth. And he did so. Then the angel of the Lord reached out the tip of the staff that was in his hand and touched the meat and the unleavened cakes and fire sprang up from the rock and consumed the meat and the unleavened cakes and the angel of the Lord vanished from his sight. Then Gideon perceived that it was the angel of the Lord and Gideon said, Help me, Lord God, for I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. But the Lord said to him, Peace be to you. 
do not fear, you shall not die. Then Gideon built an altar there to the Lord, and he called it, The Lord is Peace. And to this day it stands at Ophrah, which belongs to the Aborazites. Today's canticle is called a song of God's blessing. God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Who let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 14, beginning at verse 1. On one occasion, when Jesus was going to the house of a leader of the Pharisees to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. Just then, in front of him, there was a man who had dropsy. And Jesus asked the lawyers and Pharisees, Is it lawful to cure people on the Sabbath or not? But they were silent. So Jesus took him and healed him and sent him away. Then he said to them, If one of you has a child or an ox that has fallen into a well, will you not immediately pull it out on a Sabbath day? And they could not reply to this. When he noticed how the guests chose the places of honour, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at a place of honour in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host, and the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, Give this person your place, and then in disgrace you would start to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, move up higher, then you will be honoured in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. That this and all our days may be full of your praise. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will keep us this day without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, 
that we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bless your people and lift them up forever. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. So let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks this day for so many ways in which the lockdown is now being lifted, giving us, Lord, the opportunity to return to various elements of our life that have for some time been closed to us. Protect us, Lord. Protect your church here in this place. Make us mindful of each other. Make us mindful of our neighbours. Help us, Lord, always to think of others before ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>